Everyone, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, EC. I'm Big Daddy Kane. And I'm Amanda. For Tuesday, November 22nd, 2005. Cut. The music you just heard was Pocket Full of Shells by Rage Against the Machine. Menu for today chicken nuggets, fries, choice of fruit or vegetables, and milk. There will be an FCCLA meeting today from 3 to 4 in room 75A. Also, FCCLA will be making blankets for the Linus Project from 4 to 6 in room 75A. All students are welcome and food will be provided. Attention all boys and girls soccer players. You must wear an EC soccer shirt for bagging at Bigs tonight and tomorrow. Also, no sandals. Adventure and Travel Club members need to pick up their fundraiser tonight or tomorrow in room 171. The following students need to report to the office. Robert Hammer, Smith, and Tori Werner. The Trojan Turf crew would like to welcome Mr. Roy Boswell to East Central. Mr. Boswell is a Purdue University landscape architecture student and will be speaking in the landscape management classes today. There will not be a Spanish club meeting tomorrow. Happy 18th birthday, Amanda. Aww. Happy birthday, Amanda. <laughs> 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 Good morning, Amanda. Click the button. <laughs> Good luck to the EC FFA Forestry CDE teams this evening as they participate in the Area 1 Forestry Contest tonight at Rising Sun. All varsity and JV girls soccer players need to stop by the front office sometime today. All boys and girls soccer, soccer sectionals players need to stop by the athletic office today. Free Speak will meet Monday from 3 to 4 in room 175. All are welcome. Now let's go to Brian for some weather. Thanks guys. Currently it's 37 degrees under cloudy skies. As you take a look at the radar, you will see we have an area of precipitation down here to our south. That moved through our area this morning as sleet, and we could see a passing flurry or sprinkle any time today. Take a look at the bigger picture, you will see we had a, one cold front move through the area already. It's heading up to the northeast, which will, and will cause a nor'easter. This other one will move through the area tomorrow, bringing with it a chance of snow, probably starting out as rain, but not too much snow as most of the energy will stay up here along the Great Lakes. We could see maybe half inch to an inch tops. It will also be very windy the next few days as we have strong northerly wind flow causing 10 to 20 mile an hour winds at any time. As we take a look in Canada, you will see that there's still plenty of cold air and heading into December, we could see a significant snowstorm heading into the first 10 to 15 days of December. Now to the forecast. Today looks mostly cloudy with a chance of a flurry or sprinkle any time, high right around 40 degrees. Tonight, a passing flurry then clearing a little, partly cloudy, low right around 27. Now next five days. Looks pretty nice. On Thanksgiving, it'll be a little cool, but pretty nice with a chance of a flurry. For all you crazy shoppers, the next day also looks very nice. And you snow lovers, going to Perfect North Friday like me, looks pretty nice and winter-like, high right around 32 degrees. Now back to you. I totally went the wrong way. Yeah. Kiddos, it's time for your favorite time of the day, current events. FBI warns of email about surveillance. Washington, the Federal Bureau of Investigation issued an alert Monday about a scam involving unsolicited emails per purportedly sent by the FBI that tell computer users that their internet surfing is being monitored by their agency. The users are told they have visited illegal websites and are instructed to open an attachment to answer questions. The FBI did not send these emails and does not send any other unsolicited emails to the public. As many harmful computer viruses are located in email attachments, the FBI said it strongly encourages computer users not to open attachments from unknown recipients. The FBI is investigating the scam. Recipients of these emails are asked to report them by visiting the Internet Co Crime Complaint Center at http wwwic 3governmentgov High school students sworn in as mayor in, in Hill Hillsdale, Michigan. 
Michael Sessions began talking about running for mayor when he was a sophomore in high school. He realized that dream before he got his diploma. Sessions, an 18-year-old senior, became the uh, city's youngest mayor on Monday when he took the oath of office. The crowd included city residents, photographers, and dozens of video cameras, some from news agencies as far away as Russia and Japan. That's all we have for today. If you have any questions, comments, complaints, or suggestions, please email us at ectv3 at yahoo.com. We're going to leave you with 96 Quiet Bitter Beings by CKY. Woo! <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for, for which, which it stands, stands one nation, nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, EC. I'm Amanda. And I'm Big Daddy Kane. These are your morning announcements for one day, November 23rd, 2005. Music you just heard was Super Rad by the Aqua Bats. Menu for today is pizza, choice of fruit and veggie and milk. Attention all boys and girls soccer players. You must wear an EC soccer shirt for bagging at Biggs tonight. Also, no open-toed sandals. Adventure and Travel Club members need to pick up their fundraiser tonight in Room 171. There will not be a Spanish club meeting tonight. Free Speak will meet Monday 3 to 4 in Room 175. Everybody is welcome. Tonight's activities, girls basketball at Greensburg, 6 p.m. There will be a senior scholarship meeting Monday at 3 p.m. in room 172. There will be no tutoring today after school. The boys basketball game scheduled for Friday with Jennings County has been moved to January 28th at 6.30 p.m. <coughs> EC Future Farmers of America chapter participated in the forestry judging contest last night at Rising Sun. The team of Ashley Hounds, Jake Eckstein, Jeremy Simpson, and Rachel Gilbert placed second and will be attending the state contest on December 10th at Purdue University. They would also like to thank the team of Jacob Luring, Doug Fry, John Brown, Chris Bischoff, and team of Andrew Dobson, Clinton, Brittany Covert, and Mitch Dahl. Jeremy Simpson placed fifth as an individual. Congrats.
Now let's check out this special episode of Deutsch's Dutch Oven. Over the river and through the woods to Deutsch's Dutch Oven we go. It is so much fun to get this job done. Cooking, I love it so. Over the river. I didn't know you were here. Welcome. It's been a long time, hasn't it? This is Deutsch's Dutch Oven. And what a perfect time to come and join us again. What holiday is coming up? Thanksgiving. Giving is a time when families are together and everybody's happy and joyful. A time when you have the most wonderful food possible. Delicious turkey, wonderful stuffing, absolutely phenomenal cranberry sauce. But there's something missing from all this. What could it be? Pumpkin pie, of course! <laughs> and that, my friends, is what we're going to make today. Pumpkin pie. And what do we have here to start with us here? A pumpkin. And we have a pumpkin <laughs> milk and flour. And with all these ingredients, we're going to make pumpkin pie. What I'm going to do is take this pumpkin stuff and just take it out like this and just put it in the bowl. Look how simple it is. And it's so much fun too. Ah, yes, I tell you, I have so much. We all have so much to be thankful for here. And I'll be very thankful if I can do this correctly. You know? So then, the next thing we have here is flour. And we take the flour, we have the pumpkin, I, might, I still have a little more. Start mixing some of that. Some of it fell. Put it back in here. Then we have some milk. Uh, you need milk for pumpkin pie, of course. So we, we're gonna pour the milk. And there's one thing that we have left. Lots of milk. So I'm just gonna pour some more. Now we have the pumpkin here. And of course, with this pumpkin, you need to just put it in just like this. There you go. Stick your hand in as far as it goes. Oh, this is terrific. <laughs> I love it! I'll try my other hand. I'll try both hands. This is fantastic. Now, what I do is I'll just stir this. I'm loving this. So what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? Come on, share it with us. I just hope everybody has a wonderful, happy time with your family, your friends, your loved ones. Thanksgiving is just such a wonderful time of the year. Okay, well, a little bit messy as you can tell, but that's okay. What I will now do is take this, everything I mix, the wonderful ingredients, the flour, the can of pumpkin, the pumpkin pie itself, and just take it and pour it into this wonderful, fantastic, fabulous crust we have. <laughs> this, my friends, is pumpkin pie. Next thing you do is you stir it some more to get some of the lumps out. <laughs> There you go. Oh, this is going to be a delicious pumpkin pie. Now, you smell it. Mmm. And then you pick it up and you put it in Deutsch's Dutch oven. You set the temperature at 500 degrees. You bake it for 20 minutes and presto. Bing! I think it's done! Look at this, guys and girls! 
Pumpkin pie! Ooh! Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I can't wait to eat this, and I want to wish you a great Thanksgiving, a great time, and have a great holiday. Where? At Deutsches Dutch Oven. for the Pledge of Allegiance followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, EC. I'm Jamie Phillips. And I'm David. These are your morning announcements for Monday, November 28, 2005. The music you just heard was a song played because the Bengals won. Menu for today, chicken patty, sandwich, fries, choice of fruit or vegetable and milk. Free Speak will meet today from 3 to 4 in room 175. All are welcome. There will be a senior scholarship meeting today at 3 p.m. in room 172. Tonight's activities, boys freshman basketball at South Dearborn, 6 p.m. There will be a meeting for any boy or girl track athlete not involved in a winter sport on Thursday after school. In the cafeteria, sectional patches can be picked up and uniforms turned in for those who haven't done so already. There will be an FCCLA officer meeting tomorrow from 7.35 to 8 a.m. in room 75A. Now let's go to Brian for some weather. Thanks, Jamie. Currently, it's already up to 60 degrees, and it's wind out of the south at 3 miles an hour. Taking a look at the local radar, you see we only have a few sprinkles or very light showers out there, but that'll change as we head into this evening. Taking a look at the bigger picture, we'll see how we have a strong cold front out to our west, and just ahead of it, there are quite a bit of thunderstorms that will move in later tonight, and the possibility of severe storms. As you can see, we are under a slight risk of severe weather as we head into this evening. Along with that, we will have very strong gusty winds out of the south. As you can see, these lines that we call isobars are very tightly compacted. That means strong winds, so it will be breezy out there today. Now the forecast. 
Like I said, today, scattered showers at any time, more numerous this evening and tonight where we have the possibility of severe storms, high right around 70. And if we get to 70, we will tie a record from 1909. Wow. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms possibly severe, low right around 44 degrees. Next five days look much cooler as we get from 70 to 48 tomorrow, and by the end of the week, highs in the 30s. Back to you. Last Thursday was Thanksgiving, and now we're going to take a look at what some of you people did. I love you. I love to eat turkey, cause it's good. I love to eat turkey like a good boy should, cause it's turkey to eat. So good. The thing is, I generally tend to sleep until about four in the afternoon when I can smell that nice turkey just roasting and get me awake and then I go munch on some turkey because it's so good and then a little stove top, you know, because you can't have you can't have the real stuff sometimes. You gotta go with the stove top, you know, so blow yourself off, throw those taste buds off. And then because the high amounts of tryptophan that I eat in the turkey, I just go pass out for the next couple days. And then I come back to school on Monday, rested and rejuvenated for the Christmas season. Okay. Hopefully, I go to my grandma's house, then eat turkey, then eat pie, then I hang out with my little sister. And I'm usually stuck hanging out with her for a while, and Brian Jansen, which I don't like. So, usually, it's a pretty good Thanksgiving, but, you know. Well, uh, we get up pretty early Thanksgiving Day, and. I, uh, me and my, me and my family all go on a big turkey hunt. We bring it back after I shoot it, we wrestle it down, and bring it back to the house and pluck the feathers and everything. You know, I mean, this is what most families do, I'm guessing. And uh, you know, pluck the feathers, get it all ready, and we eat it. And you see, cook it, you put it on the table, mashed potatoes, pumpkin pie, you know, all the goods. You just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday, I every November, my family usually come and visits me from the Swiss Alps, and we eat roasted duck and turkey and all kinds of stuff. It's, oh man, it's pretty good. Let's eat the turkey in my big brown shoe. Love to eat the turkey at the table. I once saw a movie with... That's all we have for today. If you have any questions, comments, complaints, or suggestions, please email us at ECTV3. And now for a last shout out at the Bengals, we're going to leave you with Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle!
rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And I'm Jamie. These are your morning announcements for Tuesday, November 29, 2005. The music you just heard was Under the Bridge by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Menu for today, spaghetti with meat sauce, breadsticks, choice of fruit or vegetables and milk. Tonight's activities, girls freshman basketball here <coughs> with Columbus E, 6 p.m. There will be a meeting for any boy or girl track athletes not involved in a winter sport on Thursday after school in the cafeteria. Sectional patches can be picked up and uniforms turned in for any of those who haven't done so. If you are interested in a free puppy, contact Heather Wilhelm here at school or call 812-576-3381 and leave a message. The puppies are seven weeks old and are Black Lab and Border Collie mix. There are 11 to be given away and they make excellent Christmas presents. Many of our 10th grade students will be touring the Southeastern Indiana Career Center tomorrow. They should be released from third period at 1035 and report directly to the cafeteria for lunch and then the buses which will be located in front of the building. Friday December 16th is the last day to make get into the prestige portraits for your senior picture. Schedule, schedule your appointments today by calling 1-888-266-4686. Where you take pictures are at the bookstore. You may pick your, yours up starting today. Now let's go to Anna for some sports. Thanks, guys. And last night's Monday Night Football, Peyton Manning led the Indianapolis Colts to a 26-7 victory over the Pittsburgh Steelers. Leading the Colts were Edron James with 124 rushing yards and Marvin Harrison with 128 receiving yards. The Colts are now 11-0. They will be challenging the Tennessee Titans next Sunday. The game will start at 1 o'clock. In NBA basketball, the Indiana Pacers will be traveling to Utah to take on the Jazz tonight at 9 o'clock. The Pacers are now 8-4 after Sunday's win against the LA Clippers, 97-92. Girls freshman basketball is hosting Columbus East tonight. Game time is 6 o'clock. Good luck, girls. Boys freshman basketball defeated South Dearborn last night with a final score of 36 to 28. They will be playing Rising Sun on Wednesday here at 6 o'clock. Good luck, guys. Now back to you. Hey, it's me, Hop. What's up? Driving my Mustang. It's 99. Um, Black, it's my car. Hi, I'm Terry Stiver and I'm a, the computer teacher. This is my Mustang, it's an 05 GT, it's an eight cylinder, a five speed. I'm, it's the first Ford I've ever owned. I'm very happy with the car and uh, wouldn't trade it for anything. Thank you. Grab it. Grab it. Today, a storm that hit the plains heads to the Great Lakes. From Associated Press writer James McPherson from Bismarck, North Dakota, the snowstorm that brought, brought blizzard like conditions and knocked out power to thousands across the plains is headed towards the Great Lakes region. The storm dumped snow from North Dakota to the Texas Panhandle, closing hundreds of miles of, hi closing hundreds of, miles of highways and piling up, drifts, piling up drifts six feet high. Five deaths were blamed on the slippery roads in Minnesota, South Dakota, Nebraska, and Kansas. A sixth person was killed when a tornado hurled a car into, in Arkansas. Travelers trying to get home after Thanksgiving were stranded 
and hotels across the plains, but those who made it back safely weren't necessarily hunkered down at home. Wind, snow, and ice snapped electrical lines and knocked out power to much of the eastern parts of the, the Dakotas. Electricity wasn't expected to be restored for some areas until at least Tuesday. South Dakota, South Dakota's Governor Mike Rounds said some residents were using backup generators to heat frigid, darkened homes. That's all we have for today. If you have any questions, comments, complaints, or suggestions, please email us at ectv3 at yahoo.com. We're going to leave you with Beverly Hills by Weezer. for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, EC. I'm Jamie. And I'm Amanda. These are your morning announcements for Wednesday, November 30th, 2005. The music you just heard was Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys. Menu for today, hot ham and cheese, fries, choice of fruit or vegetable, and milk. Tonight's activities, boys freshman basketball here with Rising Sun at 6 p.m. There will be a meeting for any boy or girl track athlete not involved in a winter sport tomorrow after school in the cafeteria. Sectional patches can be picked up and uniforms turned in for those people who haven't done so already. If you are interested in a free puppy, contact Heather Will will home here at school or call 812-576-3381 and leave a message. The puppies are seven weeks old and are black and are black lab and border collie mix. There are 11 to be given away and make an excellent Christmas gift. Many of our 10th grade students will be touring the Southeastern Indiana Career Center today. They should be released from third period at 1030 and report directly to the cafeteria for lunch and then the buses which will be located in the front of the building. Friday, December 16th is the last day to make an enter prestige portraits for your senior picture. 
Schedule your appointment today by calling 1-888-266-4686. Retake pictures are in the bookstore. You may pick them up starting today. Detention will be held in the portable one Miss Jansen's room. There will be a student council meeting today in room 13 from 3 to 4. Open tennis courts on Tuesdays and Thursdays are canceled until further notice. FCCLA will be doing will be decorating the Christmas tree at North Dearborn Village tomorrow from 5 to 7 p.m. Please meet at North Dearborn Village. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Ogman. Attention FFA members, food orders will arrive Tuesday. Orders need to be picked up at the Lutz's Auction Center. The ECFFA will have a float in the Sunmin Christmas Parade Saturday. There will be a parade for work session tonight after school. See Kristen McCarty for details. There will be a SAD meeting in room 20 after school tomorrow. It is important that all SAD members attend. Now let's go to Brian for some weather. Thanks, guys. Currently, it's 32 degrees outside, and there's not too much of a wind. It's cloudy right now, but it'll be sunny later this afternoon. Taking a look at temperatures around the nation, you see it's quite cold, especially in the middle of the country. This cold air will filter in later this week and this weekend. Taking a look at the satellite picture, there are quite a few clouds around now. You can't really see them, but later this afternoon it should clear out and we should be mostly sunny by this evening. Taking a look at the bigger picture, you'll see how a disturbance that will move through the area tomorrow. That will bring with it some snow showers or flurries, nothing big. Uh, the bigger one will be this weekend. This low pressure out here will move into the states and by this weekend we could have some snow. It'll probably start out as rain, but Saturday night into Sunday we could get some accumulation. I'll keep you posted on that on Friday. And now the forecast. Today, mostly cloudy early, sunny later, high right around 40 degrees. Tonight, mostly clear and crisp, low right around 26. And the next five days, today 40, tomorrow 39, with a chance of a few flurries or snow showers. Cooling down for the weekend, like I said, Saturday night into Sunday we could get some snow. Back to you guys. Thanks, Brian. Now to current events. Sharp objects may be allowed on planes. From Washington, airport security screeners are reportedly going to let passengers bring sharp objects on board airplanes again. Today's Washington Post says the Transportation Security Administration plans to announce security changes Friday. Sources quoted by the paper says the new rules will allow things like scissors and carry-on and carry-on bags. The reasoning that such items are no longer regarded as the greatest threat in airline security. Homeland Security Department officials are said to be more concerned about preventing suicide bomb attacks at airports. Officials want screeners to focus more on finding things that can explode rather than things that are sharp. The Post reports that new, newly relaxed rules would allow scissors under four inches long, tools shorter than seven inches. That's all we have for today. If you have any questions, comments, complaints, or suggestions, please email us at ectv3 at yahoo.com. We're going to leave you with something.
for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, EC. I'm Amanda. And I'm Sam, and these are your morning announcements for Thursday, December 1st, 2005. The music you just heard was Wanna Be by the Spice Girls. Menu for today, chicken nuggets, mashed potatoes with gravy, royal choice of fruit and veg, and milk. Tonight's activities, boys freshman basketball at Franklin County, 6 p.m., girls freshman basketball at Milan, 6 p.m., girls varsity and JV basketball with Franklin County, 6 p.m., swimming and diving at Lawrenceburg at 6 p.m. There will be a meeting for any boy or girl track athlete not involved in a winter sport today after school in the cafeteria. Sectional patches can be picked up and uniforms turned in for those who haven't done so already. If you are interested in a free puppy, contact Heather Wilhelm here at school or call 812-576-3381 and leave a message. The puppies are seven weeks old and are black lab and border collie mix. There are 11 to be given away and make excellent Christmas gifts. Friday, December 16th is the last day to make it into Prestige Portraits for your senior picture. Schedule your appointment today by calling 1-888-266-4686. Free take pictures are in the bookstore. FCCLA will be decorating the Christmas tree at North Dearborn Village today from 5 to 7 p.m. Please meet at North Dearborn Village if you have any questions. Please meet at North Dearborn Village if you have any questions. See Mrs. Osman. Attention FFA members, fruit orders will arrive Tuesday. Orders need to be picked up at the Lutz Auction Center. The UC FFA will have a float in the Sunman Christmas Parade Saturday. There will be a SAD meeting in room 20 after school. It is important that all SAD members attend. Travel and Adventure Club members must turn in money and order forms from candle sales by tomorrow. As of November 1st, the bookstore is charging $1 for lost textbooks. You are responsible for your textbook. Please make sure you keep them with you or in your locker. A reminder to juniors that the Dearborn County Hospital Internship Program applications are due tomorrow. Any senior interested in buying a senior t-shirt from Mrs. Pettit's entre entrepreneur class, please see Josh Grubbs, Jessica Scholey, Katie Pettit, or Amanda Dirkman. Please have $10 by tomorrow or Monday. Now let's go to Anna for some sports. Guys, freshman boys basketball defeated Rising Sun last night with a final score of 29-19. to Good job, guys. Boys varsity and JV basketball season begins on Friday. They will be playing South Dearborn here. JV game will start at 6.30. Come and cheer our boys to their first victory. In college basketball, Duke defeated the Indiana Hoosiers last night, 75-67. to This wasn't a shock. Sorry, Mr. Reynolds, maybe next time. And this weekend's NFL football, the Cincinnati Bengals are traveling to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers. Game is Sunday at 1 o'clock. The Indianapolis Colts are challenging the Titans on Sunday at 1 o'clock. The Cleveland Browns are hosting the Jacksonville Jaguars Sunday at 1 o'clock. And it's my big brother, Anthony Mormon's 18th birthday today, so if you see him, tell him happy birthday. Back to you guys. And in current events, soft drink sales are down in U.S. schools. From Associated Press writer J.M. Hirsch, it's not often that an industry brags when sales are down, but the American Beverage Association sounds almost proud when it declares in a report being released Thursday that the amount of non-diet soft drinks sold in the nation's schools dropped more than 24% between 2002 and 2004. The trade group's report is an effort to deflate threats of a lawsuit against soft drink companies, which face mounting pressure as childhood obesity concerns have led schools to remove sodas. 
During the same two-year period, the amount of sports drinks sold grew nearly 70%, bottled water 23%, diet soda 22%, and fruit juice 15%, according to the report, which is based on data from beverage bottling companies. Regular soda is still the leader within schools, accounting for 45% of beverages sold there this year. But that's down from 57% three years earlier, the industry said, citing additional numbers based on 2002 to 2005 data. Over the same three-year period, sports drinks jumped from nearly 7% to more than 14%, while water increased from 9% to nearly 13%. Mr. <laughs> Beaning's classes should bring AR books today and all other material that you're, you were supposed to bring. That's all we have. Oh, wait. Happy birthday to <laughs> Rosemary Elam. Happy birthday! <laughs> That's all we have for today. If you have any questions, comments, complaints, or suggestions, please email us at ectv3 at yahoo.com. We're going to leave you with Boondocks by Little Big Town. Oh, no. What? Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. Pledge, Pledge of Allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, EC. I'm Santa. And I'm Amanda. These are your morning announcements for Friday, December 2nd, 2005. The music you just heard was Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash. Menu for today, pizza, choice of fruit or vegetable, and milk. Tonight's activities, boys basketball here with South Dearborn at 6.30 p.m. <coughs> Tomorrow's activities, JV Wrestling at Greensburg, 6 way, 8 a.m. Varsity Wrestling at Cathedral Super 6 um, at 8.30 a.m. And boys basketball at South Ripley, 6 p.m. 
If you are interested in a free puppy, contact Heather Wilhelm here at Schooler Cart, 812-576-3381, and leave a message. The puppies are seven weeks old and are Black Lab and Border Collie mix. There are 11 to be given away and make excellent Christmas gifts. Friday, December 16th is the last day to make it into prestige portraits for your senior picture. Schedule your appointment today by calling 1-888-266-4686. Retake pictures are in the bookstore. Attention FFA members, fruit orders will arrive Tuesday. Orders need to be picked up at Lutz Auction Center. The EC FFA will have a float in the Summon Christmas Parade tomorrow. Travel and Adventure Club members must turn in money and order forms from candle sales by tomorrow. A reminder to juniors that the Dearborn County Hospital Internship Program applications are due tomorrow. As of November 1st, the bookstore is charging $1 for lost textbooks. You are responsible for your textbooks. Please make sure that you keep them with you or in your locker. Any senior interested in buying a senior t-shirt for Mrs. Pettit's entrepreneurship class, um, please see Josh Grubbs, Jessica Scholey, Katie Pettit, Amanda Dirkman, and please have your money by today or Monday. Exalted dancers need to be at Sunman Elementary tomorrow morning at 10.30 for the Sunman Christmas Parade. Mr. Buning's classes should bring their AR books to class today along with all other materials you are supposed to bring to class. Those seniors who live in Ripley County and plan to apply for the Ripley County Foundation Life Scholarships are reminded that they must be present to participate in the essay writing portion scheduled for Wednesday at 7 a.m. They should report to room 13 and please be on time. Now let's go to Big Brian for some weather. Thanks. Currently it's a whopping 20 degrees outside. There's a little bit of a wind but not too much and we're headed for a mostly sunny day. Taking a look at the satellite picture, you see there's just a few clouds around and it should be mostly sunny this afternoon. But as you look out to the west, you see this big area of clouds. That's our next weather system that will move in this weekend, bringing with it a mixed bag of precipitation. A bigger look at the picture shows out to our west, there's quite a few things going on and this area here will be our weather area for Saturday and Sunday. The bigger one out in here, this will be for Monday, this one looks to be all snow. Taking a look on the Saturday picture, this system here will move into our area, pushing a warm front through our area, and that's what will bring a mixed bag of precipitation. It looks like it will start out as rain, change to a mix, and then all snow Saturday night. Today should be partly cloudy, then mostly sunny, high right around the freezing mark, 32 degrees. Tonight will be clear and crisp with a low of 26 degrees. Tomorrow looks interesting. It'll start out partly cloudy, but by late afternoon we'll have a mix of rain, snow, and sleet, and high right around 34, 35, 36. Tomorrow night looks like the freezing rain will change the snow, and we can get one, two inches of snow. Um, if it changes the snow earlier, maybe three inches if we're lucky, low right around 28. The next five days, like I said, today right around the freezing mark, the mixed bag for this weekend. Monday looks like we could get a more decent accumulation as it appears it will all be snow and not a mix. And then quite cold after that. Back to you guys. Congratulations to the following gingerbread house winners in Food 1 classes. Period 1, first is Leah again, second, Tony Keeble, third, Carrie Moore, fourth, Alex Wilhelm, fifth, Melissa Hoff, and sixth, Matt Howard. Second period, first is Rachel Pollard, second, Amanda Bata, third, Deja Morris, fourth, Megan Thomas, fifth, Michael Repke and six, Melinda Kraft. Third period is first, Todd McAllister, second, Jessica Bryant, third, Emily Vaught, fourth, Lane Price, fifth, Hannah Lehman, and sixth, Cheyenne Esser. That's all we have for today. If you have any questions, comments, complaints, or suggestions, please email us at ectv3 at yahoo.com. We're going to leave you with You and Me by Lifehouse, and also, happy birthday to Brad Corn. What day is it? What? And in what month this clock never seems so alive I can't keep up and I can't back down I've been losing so much time Cause that's you and me and all other people, nothing to do, nothing to lose. And it's you and me, and all other people. And I don't know why I can't keep my eyes off of you. What are the 
things that I want to say just aren't coming out right. I'm tripping on words. You got my head spinning. I don't know where to go from here. Cause it's you and me, and I love the people. Nothing to do. Nothing to prove And that's you and me And all other people And I don't know why I can't keep my eyes off of you There's something about you now That I can't quite figure out Everything she does is beautiful Everything she does is right Cause there's you and me And all of the people Nothing to do Nothing to lose And there's you and me And all of the people And I don't know why I can't keep my eyes off of you and I love people, nothing to do, nothing to prove. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, EC. I'm Monica. And I'm Terry. These are your morning announcements for Monday, December 5th, 2005. The music you just heard was by Reliant K. Menu for today, hot dogs, fries, choice of fruit or vegetable, and milk. If you're interested in a free puppy, contact Heather Wilhelm here at school or call 812-576-3381 and leave a message. The puppies are seven weeks old and are a black lab border collie mix. There are 11 to give away and they could be excellent Christmas gifts. Friday, December 16th is the last day to make your prestige portraits for your senior picture. Schedule your appointment today by calling 1-888-266-4686. Retake pictures are in the bookstore. Attention FFA members, fruit orders will arrive tomorrow. Orders need to be picked up at the Lutz Auction Center. There will be an FCCLA meeting tomorrow from 3 to 4 in room 75A. As of November 1st, the bookstore is charging $1 for lost textbooks. You are responsible for your textbooks. Please make sure you keep them with you or in your locker. Any senior interested in buying a senior t-shirt from Mrs. Pettit's entrepreneur class, please see Josh Grubbs, Jessica Scholey, Katie Pettit, or Amanda Dirkman. Please have $10 by today. The seniors who live in Ripley County and plan to go to apply for Ripley County Foundation Lilly Scholarship are reminded that they must present to participate in the essay writing portion scheduled for Wednesday at 7 a.m. They should report from to room 13 and please be on time. The ECHS after prom is selling a silver ski pass plus a $30 debit card for $225. This is valued at $300. The silver status allows you one time any day of the week, ski time excluding rentals. If interested, please contact Michelle King at 812-637-0633 or Stephanie Taylor at 812-627-2119. Spanish club members who are going to the Festival of Lights, please see Mrs. Martin in room 179 today or tomorrow. 
If you need to make a schedule change for second semester, you can do that in the guidance office this week only. Now let's go to Brian for some weather. At least 22 degrees outside, not too much of a wind, so that's good, but it's cloudy. You can look at the satellite picture, you'll see we're on the western side of this storm system, and that'll keep us mostly cloudy today. Taking a look at the bigger picture, you'll see there's not too much happening. We'll have a weak clipper system move through the area tomorrow, bringing with it a few snow showers or flurries, but pretty much just reinforcing the cold air. We also have a, no a little bit stronger one that's going to move through the area on Thursday. That could bring with it some very light snow, but like I said, it's going to be cold. And lows tonight are going to be really cold, especially up to our north. They're expecting single-digit readings. We won't quite get that cold, but it's going to be cold. In the northern Atlantic, we still have a hurricane, despite being December. This is Hurricane Epsilon. It currently has winds of 75 miles an hour and is moving gradually off to the south and is expected to dissipate in the next few days. Now to the forecast. Today looks mostly cloudy, high right around 28. Tonight looks clear and cold, low right around 14. Next five days look very cold, as we are not expected to even reach the freezing mark till at least Friday. And like I said, that chance of snow on the Thursday and a few flurries tomorrow. Now let's go to my partner in crime, Anna, for sports. Thank you, Brian. The ECHS girls swim team is now 2-0 after their 145-39 victory over Lawrenceburg Thursday. The boys are also 1-0 after they defeated Lawrenceburg 153-12. Quadruple event winners were Libby Bates and Alex Losekamp. Triple event winners were Carly Coates, Kristen Benner, and Kyle House. Double event winners were Chelsea Dickhouse, Lindsey Bauman, Felix Wopalka, <laughs> Dominic Shaferl, Tim Dickhouse, Derek Minkadick, and Adam Miller. <laughs> Congratulations also to the boys and girls swim teams for their convincing victories in the six-team EC relays. Saturday, Kyle House highlighted the meet with a new school and pool record in a 50 freestyle while leading off the 200 free relay. His team, his time of 21.60 is the fastest recorded time in the state so far this season. The EC wrestling team began its season over the weekend at Indian, Indianapolis Cathedral. The team competed against four state ranked teams. The wrestlers were one and four on the weekend with three of the four losses coming down to the last wrestling match. Team results were EC 28, number 13, Indianapolis Cathedral, 38. EC 33, number 25, Anderson Highland, 42. EC 16, number 8, Warren Central, 46. EC 29, number 11, Avon, 34. And EC 64 and Munster, 9. Individual highlights for the day were Corey Yeager going 5-0 and, and Jake Fleckenstein and Brian Jansen going 4-1. The JV wrestling team also began its season over the weekend against state quality competition. The JV went to Greensburg and went 4-1 and one on the day. Team results were EC 45, Lawrence North 42, EC 63, Mooresville 24, EC 46, Lafayette Harrison 30, EC 27, Carmel 51, EC 40, and Greensburg 36. Individual highlights for the day were Andy Dalton, Tim Brown, Evan Carr, Ian Daughtery, Nick Hutchinson, Chad Wren, Jake Wolfsorn going undefeated on the day. In NFL football, the still undefeated Indianapolis Colts destroyed the Tennessee Titans 35-3. The Colts are now 12-0. The Cincinnati Bengals beat the Pittsburgh Steelers 38-31. They are now 9-3. This is their first winning season since 1990. Now back to you guys. Thanks, guys. That's all we have for today. If you have any questions, comments, complaints, or suggestions, please email us at ectv3 at yahoo.com. We're going to leave you with huh. Thousand Foot Crutch. Woo! From inside me Open up King Miss Bad Presentation of my findings How we gonna come back to this? How we ever gonna make a mess to this? Let's lay down like a naturalist Just be another one after this You can never stop this feeling I've got inside of me And you could never feel 